What's up? What's happening, people? Welcome back to the channel. Boom, yo, you know you got Austin Lem 11. Hey, it's been a long year. Ain't feel like we're doing YouTube lately. What it is, what it is. Got work for a living, right? So that's where the fuck we're at. So, what I got to tell you is right now, you got the biker. Ching from Badass. What? Badass who? Badass? You don't know? Badass Beard Company, yo. So check them out, yo. This Badass Beard Company, the biker. Yo, this shit smells i mean i love this shit man i tried it out today today it's in my beer right now i mean look at this for a beer like mine and i mean a real beer that can get wild on the sides and get crazy this is all i use today this is all I use shampooed with the uh beard octane um beard octane cold start that's a good one too i love their shampoos um all i used was this today I no beard butter no beard oil if their beard oil can hold my shit down the sides and i'm talking to these people who got like the short beards are wrapped close to their face or tight on their face. They, If you look, look, you don't have a beard unless your shit don't fall off your chin. And I'll be honest with you, Dan C is a good person on here. Uh, if you don't really have a beard. So when those people are like, hey, yeah, use use, use a beard oil for them. Yeah, I could trust my beard oil. And this um, beard oil has patchoula, peppermint, and sandalwood. And this shit smells fucking amazing. I mean, I can believe it, yo. Um, it's great. But what I'm saying is people on YouTube is other people on YouTube, they say like, oh, I, I've tried out beer bombs or butters. Well, I can't trust you because if your beer doesn't grow out and can get wild on the sides and you wake up and look like a, a Wookiee, like a Wookiee, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you, people need to support listening. People got short ass beers. It's not a beer. I call it like a high and tight or it's wrapped to their face. If it don't fall off your chin and do this shit, you don't really got a beer, man. It's bullshit. So quit listening to these people, man. And they got the badass beer butter. Hey, check it out, man. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I'm going to try that later. But beard oil worked good enough. And I bought a mystery prize. A mystery uh, gift, which I didn't realize I bought. But what they did put in there for me was the bomb. They could have put anything. It's a mystery gift. And you know what? Open the bag up. Hey, you gave me the bomb. Hey, fuck it. You should. That's common fucking sense. So that's why you should buy a badass beer company. Um... Yeah, scent is patchoula, peppermint, and sandalwood. And does it taste and smell good? I don't know if it tastes good. I didn't taste it. But, uh, yeah, it smells phenomenal. I mean, literally, I never tried. I got the beard wash, but first, uh, badass beer coat, people. So, I would say the biker is a good choice. And uh, the beard oil one, this is what it did for me today. I mean, look at my beard. Held it down. It makes it look nice, fresh, rehydrated. And, hey... It's a great fucking product. So, how about your boy, Austin Lovin, back on the building. Let's see what I can do to be back on here. Trying to people out with the beard products. And I'm just saying, man, there's people on here with the... They don't really got a beard. And they're trying to tell you about a beard butter. If it's wrapped time in your face, you can't tell me about your butter. If it's wrapped time in your face and you really don't got but scruff and rough and you ain't got a beard, you don't have beard problems either. So, and, you know, just saying, hey, but check out... The Biker from Bass Beer Co. If you got a real beard, check it out. Rock it out. See what you think. I put it in. I combed it out. And, hey, good results. So, how's your boy? Check your people. Stay blessed. Keep it one hundo. I'm out.